Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's TDS Gould back with more zombie content on Call of Duty Black Ops 1, and today we're going to be doing the map 5. Let's go ahead and get this started. So, we're going to be doing the, uh, the wall gun challenge, so I'm only going to be using wall guns, no pack-a-punch, um... Uh, what is it? No traps, no nothing, only the guns themselves, and uh, some knives. Alright, let's go ahead and do it. Alright, so the first thing that I like to do is to get all this glass out of the window here, just knife it out, and uh, let the zombies come on through because right now it is very important for points and power-ups because I'm only allowed to buy the wall guns that I have selected and well if I buy another gun I'm forced to use that gun in the playthrough so the best thing that I can think of to do is to let all the zombies come in and then kill them so I can get whatever power-ups may come but points are very important right now because I do have to go quite a distance in order to get some of my guns. <clears throat> Alright, let's get some barrier repairs in. Alright, that should be four. Alright, I got four repairs in. That's enough for the round. Can't get any more than that, so... Gotta wait until the next round starts in order to get more barrier repairs, because right now I don't get points from it. Alright, new rounds, new barriers. And, uh, in my previous upload, there was actually a problem with, uh, the video. I had accidentally selected the non-edited version. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how that one slipped past me. I was very tired when I uploaded it, so I clicked on the wrong version and uploaded that and premiered that instead of the, uh, the one that I had intended to upload. So I deleted that one, and, uh, it is, yeah, the other one should be reposted by now, but, yeah, uh, this is in the future talking. Haha. <laughs> As of this exact moment, the video is not there, but when this video is up, that video will be there. And, uh, I do want to apologize for not talking all the way through the other video. I was concentrating a lot on, uh, doing the match and stuff like that, and sometimes I just can't really talk and concentrate super hard at the same time. So, my apologies on that, I'll try to get better at doing that, but, yeah. Anyway... Let's go ahead and uh, focus on getting some of these guys. Now, knifing them, getting them killed is very important right now. Uh, shoot, I may have to actually open up a door here by next round. Oh, God. How am I going to do this? Ah. Oh, shoot. Yep, it's time to go. It is time to go. Man, they just, they insta-smack you. There's nothing, there's nothing that I can do right now. They just instant-smack you, and there's no timing or anything involved in it. No matter what you do, you trade a knife for a hit. And Black Ops 1 is notorious for those double hit kills. Basically a double smack and one hit, which kills you. And I really hope I don't get hit by it. Come on. I'm getting there. I'm weeding them out. I am weeding them out. Come on. Oh, shit. There we go, there's another one. Training zombies. Oh, shit! Training zombies on round three. This guy's a slow guy. I'll kill him. 
That was a close. That that was so close to getting hit by the double smack. That was a very close double smack. <sighs> Alright. Let's try to make it. I will be repairing this barrier before I go down there, though. I want all the points I can get before I spend them. And I will be spending them. Alright. Let's get this window broken. Let's get the repair going on it. Let's clear this out. Alright, and time to go. Down the elevator I go. Apparently there's a 10 person limit. Alright. Now, one of the guns I'll be using is this gun. The stakeout. The other gun that I will be using is going to be the MP5. Alright. Well, I've acquired the point gun. Alright. Let's get some headshots in here. Oh, double points. Let's go, man. One, two. Oh, he was already weak. There's a catch, isn't there? One, two, three. Point guns are super essential early game. And uh, the fact that this gun, this MP5, is located upstairs by double tap is a good deal. Because I can train the zombies down here. And then whenever they get uh, all the way spawned in and I'm out of ammo, I can just run up there and grab MP5 ammo for insta-kills or whatever. Like, this gun here is probably going to be my insta-kill gun. Alright, let's grab those free points. Let's open this up. Let's see what else. Oh, I will be buying that stake out. And let's open this up. <clears throat> Alright, now I definitely want to try to turn the power on when I have the points for Jug. I don't want to turn the power on just yet. I'm going to be waiting to do that. Because whenever you turn the power on, the other dude comes in. And you guys will see what I'm talking about here in a second. Basically, this guy's like a special... A special boss type every four or five rounds he'll come in and try to take your guns and he actually will take your guns if you let him you just got to kill him before he takes it or after he takes it you have an opportunity to kill him all right so this is a shotgun I'm gonna be trying to get some headshots with this thing because you don't get that many points off of an ordinary kill so I will be trying to get some headshot kills with this shotgun There's a max ammo, I'll take that. Let's reload the MP5. That's it. Max is all I get. Alright, so I don't have enough points this round to turn on power. And buy jugs, so what I'm gonna do is just uh, kill this last zombie. And I should have the points I need by the end of this round. I should be good on that. <clears throat> the perk loadout I'm thinking of using since this is a one death challenge on top of all that stuff that I mentioned uh, when I started the match the perk loadout I'm thinking of using is jug, speed cola, double tap and stamina up if stamina up is on the map if not I'll just be using those three perks And once I get past this round here, it's going to be difficult to say the least, man. Like, really. Like, round six with no jug is one thing. But round seven, when the majority of them are, are uh, runners, that's a real that's a real problem. Oh, I did that on 
Oh, that wasn't even a one-hit kill. Alright, I need to make a crawler. Well, it's a headshot kill. I guess that's all that matters. It rewards the accurate. This thing is hard to aim, though. Alright, so we should have some crawlers down there, I believe. Do we have crawlers? Okay, yes we do. How many? Alright, so it looks like we have two. So I'm gonna kill one. Alright, let's go over here. Open these. Mm -hmm. Alright, and let's go down the elevator. Alright. <clears throat> I don't even know how he got there that fast. He must have magically teleported there. But anyway, uh, moving on through. Alright, back to... Where is it? Back to... Oh, Speed Cola. No, I can't buy you yet. I have to buy Juggernaut first. <laughs> Damn you hippies, I'm out of ammo. That's a pretty good line. All right. Oh, I feel good now. All right, let's see. Where is that zombie at? Come here, Mr. Zambi. This nonsense. Where are my rounds? Mr. Zambi. There we go. Hmm, should I buy MP5 ammo? I don't know. Nah. Nah, I'm not gonna buy ammo. Come and get some, Mr. Gun Grabber. Come and get my gun. Oh. Time to run! You are not taking my shotgun, Mr. Gun Grabber. You can have the gun that's out of ammo. Come back here. I will get you, you son of a bitch. Where did you go? Oh, you sneaky bastard. You sneaky bastard. Get over here. Yeah. Damn it. Alright, where is he? This side. Give me my MP5! Ooh, a fire sale that I can't use. This means I have to keep fighting, doesn't it? Oh, I can't use the elevator yet? Oh. Alright. For those of you who don't know, Fire Sale is a power-up that allows you to spin the box for 10 points. A box hit for a new gun. And ordinarily it costs 950 points to purchase a box spin. Alright. So let's go ahead and go on down through here. I should have the shotgun out. This is my safety gun. I don't know how long it'll keep me safe for, but it's my safety gun. Alright, now let's farm some points so I can get some perks. Alright, come on, zombies. You should be all behind me now. Yeah. I was hoping to kill a little bit more than that, but whatever, I'll take that. Somehow a Nova Crawler managed to walk up through here. I don't know how, but whatever. There is a death machine. You know what? I'll take it. Why not? Okay, well. Oh, I thought they were done spawning. 
<clears throat> oh, I guess that was a round right there. Okay. Fair enough. Can I buy this with the... No? I, I can't buy it with the minigun out. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, I need ammo too. I'll take that. Alright. Hopefully double tap saves my life. I know later on it won't really matter that much. But I'll see what I can do. <clears throat> yeah. Run, run as fast as you can. It's the zombie man. Oh shit. Oh damn, you bastards. You will give me points for my perks, and you will like it. And you'll also die. Oh, damn. Nasty. Oh, yeah. I strafed the shit out of him. That's how we do it, boys. Alright, hype me up. We're on round 10 now. Come on. Hype me up now. <clears throat> Wow, how did, did I really miss that shot? Alright. That's the one bad miss y'all are gonna see. That was my rust. Alright, now we're playing for real. Yep, come on, hit me. Come on, zombies. You won't do it. Yeah. Eat my fucking shotgun, motherfucker. Well, yeah, they're eating it alright. They're just not really dying from it. Sad to see this gun is already losing its power. Frickin' MP5 is doing better than a shotgun. A pump shotgun, to say the least. Alright, now what power up is that? Oh, it's an insta kill. Behold the knife. Yeah, I don't think a knife is gonna do that much to them. But that shotgun will, though. Alright, I need to make a crawler on this round. Oh! No, shit, never mind. Come on, please spawn him. Please, 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 please. Yes! Am I forced to walk through that teleporter? Am I forced to walk through it? Yeah. Teleport me! You bitch. I don't want to be in here. Get me out of here. What the fuck? Shoot! I'm gonna die, damn it! Get me the fuck out of here! Oh, thank you. You little bastard. Trying to sneak up behind me. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm gonna be training zombies this way. Sounds good to me. I don't know, as far as like direction of training zombies goes, I really prefer going this direction. I don't prefer going that way, I prefer going this way. I don't know. There's always two sides to every training area, you know what I mean? And I just prefer going this way compared to going near home and then here or I mean going all the way back around yeah I don't know just ignore what I'm talking about no 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 alright so we have Zambi's KIA and we have a carpenter and a max ammo nice now I need to stop getting hit. Oh, okay, we're taking the teleporter. Alright, now there should be a shitload of crawlers now. Um, where's that elevator? Yeah, I need you before I die. 
Uh, let's bait some nades for protection. Any incoming threat will be neutralized or made a crawler. Alright, the elevator's here now. Nice. Alright, so we should have plenty of crawlers. Um, that should not be a question. But I will go back and check. <clears throat> yeah, I would say we have some... Holy shit! They're fucking flying! I've never seen that before. There's like ten crawlers on the... They're killing themselves! Holy shit! I have never seen that, ever! I've never seen that. They're fighting for the teleporter. And they're just dying on it. Who's got the These things are making a mess. Yeah! They're flinging themselves all around. It's like they're fucking Superman. Holy shit. Alright, now I guess... Uh, okay, I have double tap, so now I need speed cola. Give me the speed cola. I'm drinking green because I'm a monster. Alright. Let's get this guy out of the way. A thousand knives later. Death by a thousand cuts. Wait, that wasn't even the last guy. Oh wait, yeah it was. It was just delayed, apparently. Alright. What is my game plan? What is my game plan? Well, I have a middle area unlocked, but I can only enter it from that side or that side. So my guess is to start the round off maybe over here. Maybe start the round off right here. And if shit goes south, I'll run to the left to the right. Now the right looks clear, so I'm going to go to the right. This is going to be insane. Alright, let's keep on going. I have to really pay attention to these dead spots right now, because right now we're approaching the rounds where if one zombie traps me, it's going to take long enough to kill him to the point where I get killed. So I have to be very careful with how I do this. Basically, I'm only able to shoot in wide open areas. Otherwise, I'll die. Or at least have a chance of dying. Like, this area here is fine to shoot in, minus that. This area here is a complete danger zone because of how narrow that those two spots are. Like, here, I'll show you. Zombies will trap you off standing right here and, and running through this little spot. They will trap you. So running through here, getting past this narrow part, is very important. That's probably the most dangerous part. That's probably what will end up killing me in the end, is probably something on that spot or something like that. If I get careless. Well, it's nice to see that uh, it's a headshot kill. It's just super delayed. All right, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be buying MP5 ammo. Oh man! All right, level round 14. Let's repair this. I know you're behind me in the window, Mr. Zombie. You can stop it now. Alright, so I'm gonna run to the right again. That seemed to work out for me last round, so I'm gonna keep on doing that. Run past the danger zone. Okay. Alright. That spot there is a danger zone too, but that one's not as bad as the other one. I can get out of that one if it's just one zombie that's there, but... This one, eh, you gotta sit back and wait for him to run past it. You can't run to the side. 
Alright, that should have weakened them up. I'm gonna unload MP5. There we go. Let me disregard every rule I ever make <laughs> about safety. Holy shit. Normally, I would only shoot one magazine, okay? I just unloaded the whole MP5. That's something in the high rounds that I will never be doing. Because they'll be spawning on my ass as I'm shooting and I will die and get sandwiched. I will be made a sandwich. Now, I don't like being a sandwich, alright? I don't like getting fucked. From both sides. Alright, anyway, enough of that. Let's go ahead and focus on the match. It's round 15. We just finished the last round with the minigun. We had double points, and we have no MP5 ammo. And the round has already started, so zombies are pouring in, and I have no ammo. And I nearly got stuck by one zombie. That would be the end of my uh, career. <clears throat> Alright, so there should be majority spawned in right now. Alright, so what I'm going to do is something very tactical. I'm going to grab ammo. Now the thing is, if I kill them, they're going to spawn in. So what I'm going to do is uh, everybody play follow the leader, okay? I'm just going to walk all the way around the freaking uh, sides here. Now everybody stay in a single file line just like that and we'll be okay. There we go, headshot galore, time to haul ass. There's an insta-kill, I will take that. I messed up my double YY. There we go. Now I need ammo again, so what I'm gonna do is not, go not get ammo. <clears throat> oh shit! Well, damn. Well, uh, I kind of fucked that up. I'll see you guys when it's round 15 again. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I am back on round 15 after that colossal fuck-up. So, let's go ahead and get right back into it. Alright, so, we are on round 15 right now. I have the stakeout in the MP5 with 22,000 points, and this is the wall gun challenge resumed after I had died. So let's keep on going. Let's see how far we can get here. All right, so I'm going to start this round off by trying to hoard them up as much as I possibly can in this section over here. Now I'll probably slow down a little bit and let them gather up. Alright, and now... Oh, there's one more over there. I was gonna turn and shoot, but now I gotta wait a little bit longer. Alright, here we go. Headshot galore right there. Alright, they're spawning back in. Let's go ahead and step back a little bit and switch to this gun. Let's actually pay attention. Okay, that would be a better idea than shooting while they're spawning. I don't feel like dying again. Alright, let's grab this insta-kill. Alright, we have a max ammo and a nuke. Let's go ahead and grab this. May as well grab that too, why not? All right, let's see if it's the doctor. It is, in fact, the doctor. All right. All right, and I got him while the insta-kill was still active. Let's go ahead and grab the max ammo. There we go. I was trying not to get him in uh, that teleporter there. All right, so now we are on round 17, I believe. Yeah, okay, 17. 
All right, my goal, bare minimum, is at least round 20. Just to get a baseline for the challenge, you know what I mean? I at least want round 20. And I think I'll be able to get that. I just have to be careful. Alright. They should be piled up enough back there. Let's sprint through here. Let's slow them down just a little bit. Alright, clear. Alright, let's shoot. Alright, let's let them spawn in a little bit. I believe that is a death machine over there. Yes, it is. Alright, lower that guy. There we go. Alright, now they should all be right there. Let's grab this. And let's rain down some... Oh, God! Oh, my God! Holy... Oh! Holy shit! Oh, my goodness! If I didn't panic right there, I would be dead. Oh, my God. Well, I'm never picking up a death machine ever again. That's all that I know. I am never picking up a death machine ever again past round 15. No thank you. Not in single player. Definitely a no-go. Like, oh my god, that was close. I was one hit away from being red screened the entire time, almost. That was insane. I killed like probably 25 or 30 zombies just sitting there in that corner being hit like oh my god but anyway uh, now that the round is mostly over now it's over let's go ahead and buy ammo all right and uh, yeah uh, definitely I will definitely try to stay away from those death machines they will kill you in the higher rounds, that is for certain. Without a doubt. I just realized how bad they were later on in the game. They're good early on, and they last quite a good minute, but eh, anything past 15 or whatever is uh, not a really good idea. Alright, so now I have these guys grouped up. That is a double points, I believe. Yeah. Alright, let's run them through over here. Let's go past this area. I'm always playing it safe. I don't like that little long haul area. So let's grab these points and shoot them. Double tap Y in. Got two mags in on them on that one. All right, now let's get out of this area. Oh, an insta-kill, nice. Let's reload this before some shit goes down. Ah. Let's go, man. We're pushing through the rounds. Wall guns only. No pack. No pack a punch. Oh, yeah. I should probably get down from there. I uh, really hope I don't get swarmed running through here. Nope. All right. I cleared out. All right. Okay, they should be spawned in well enough, and they should be hoarded well enough. 
Okay, I believe that's a max ammo. Yes, okay. Time to run through here. Okay, they are spawning. Oh, okay. Let's grab this max ammo. Alright, and unload the MP5. All right, time to avoid the long haul. Okay, so I am out of MP5 ammo, but that's okay. That's really just my insta-kill or point gun. What I'm really hoping is, is that this stakeout can last me a good minute getting through these rounds. And it seems like it's doing a good job so far. But if it came down to preference, I would definitely prefer to be using a uh, MP5 than a stakeout. Alright, this looks like it's the last zombie, and I think it is, so... Let's go ahead and end him. Now it may be uh, this uh, doctor again, so let's find out. No, it's not, and I have a death machine. I probably should have waited. Oh gosh darn it. Alright, well it shouldn't be this bad starting off. I can probably hold him back a little bit long enough for this death machine to go away. I really don't want to be holding this stupid thing for too long. Sometimes you just gotta take some hits and keep moving, and that's what I'm doing right now. I don't think so, zombies. Alright, pretty soon here I'm gonna make a run for ammo. And, well, let me do a loop real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna do a loop. All right, and then up I go. Let me get some of this nice ammunition here. All right, now we begin the journey of running a loop up here. All right, and that would be a max ammo too. Just my luck. Anyway, I'm not gonna grab that. All right, let's go down here. All right, well, it looks like that MP5 is not really working out. Oh, and that's game over. Wow. Yeah, I should have stuck with the shotgun, honestly. I honestly should have stuck with the shotgun. That was a bad judgment call. <sighs> I didn't use the MP5 as I should have, and I didn't play right, but oh well. I mean, hey, it's not a bad game, it's just a baseline, really. But, oh well, man. It is what it is. 20 rounds on 5 using a stakeout and an MP5. If I were to redo it, which I probably will sometime in the future, I would probably, uh probably go for the stakeout more than the mp5 as a primary i would probably not trying to be clutching with the uh mp5 because it fires for too long and when they're spawning in it's just a bad it's it's just bad because you get hit from behind and all that and then before you know it it's over but damn Anyways, uh, that'll do it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and uh, subscribe to the channel. And I will catch you in my next video.